Hello, welcome to The Horticulturalists. I'm Matthew Lucas, locked down in Melbourne. And I'm Stephen Ryan in lockdown at Macedon. But Matthew, we won't let that stop us, will we? So we have a video that comes to air every Friday. So please subscribe and do press the alert button to remind you when our next video comes up. Well, this week, Mr. Ryan, I think we should continue our water feature feature and look at some of those things that you created in your garden, which I discovered on walking through. Now, every time I go through Stephen's garden, there is always something I discover anew. And on this particular occasion, I found these little depressions which had water in them, which looked very mossy and natural. And I said, Stephen, how lucky you've got a little water catching depression. Aha, all was not as it seemed. Well, bird baths of all sorts are fantastic to have in the garden. Not just so that the birds and other creatures can make use of the water, but for their visual appeal in the garden. And it doesn't matter how small your garden is, you can have something like a bird bath. Now, in my garden, I've got quite a number of these around, and probably the one that takes pride of place would have to be this beautiful bluestone one. It's made out of a, a big chunk of bluestone that came out of a quarry up near Kyneton, and it's the very same quarry that a lot of the stone was quarried to build the beautiful bluestone buildings of Melbourne from. A friend of mine had access to the quarry and he was able to hollow them out. And I'm now one of the very few people with one of these beautiful bird baths. But you don't need to go out of your way or spend a lot of money to have something that's really attractive in the garden and will do the same sorts of jobs. And I want to talk to you about those sorts of bird baths now. All right, a question for you. How many of you poured a concrete slab and had some concrete left over or some cement left over? I certainly have. And it seems a waste not to use it in some way. And I came up with this brilliant idea of creating bird baths out of spent concrete. Now, you could go out and buy some bags of concrete as well, of course, if you haven't got a project underway. But if this is happening in your property, don't waste that wet cement that's arrived that you can't use. And this is what I turned it into. We have here a bird bath that was homemade and looks rustic and fits into the garden superbly. Now, you've got to tell us how you made them step by step. And it was a fairly straightforward and simple thing to do. All I did was build a mound of soil in the garden. I then put some fine chicken wire over the mound to work as a sort of a reinforcing mesh. And then I poured the concrete over the mound. I let it set for a day or so and then all you have to do is turn it over on its other side and then you've got a beautifully rustic bird bath. Now it's easy to manage. Uh, every so often we just tip it on its side and empty it or we use a leaf blower and blow all the water out so that the mosquito wrigglers don't have a chance to get settled in it. And so it doesn't take a lot of effort to keep it looking nice and it certainly makes a lovely spot for the birds, the frogs and the lizards to have a nice drink and it's nestled in amongst plants in the garden so that it just becomes an interesting feature as you come around a corner. Isn't that the best idea to use waste to create something that's quite beautiful and useful for nature and wildlife, insects, animals, birds, amphibians, who knows what might be partaking of your depressions, <laughs> Mr. Ryan. Now here is another tiny water feature that's a possibility and not beyond the bounds of a lot of people. This is an old washing copper and you can often pick them up in secondhand stores and antique shops, although well, I have to say they're getting a little pricier these days. But this sits in the middle of a circle of gravel. It's got some beautiful water plants in it and it has a lovely little body of water. So it's another way of looking at using water in a small way in your garden. Thank you, Mr. Ryan, a craft class and a horticultural class. And they're so beautiful and just seem to fit into the landscape naturally. And Stephen's got them in shady, damper spots, so it looks very natural. Thank you very much for joining us. We do post every week, so hit subscribe if our continuing journey is of interest. And we shall see you next week for another lockdown adventure of the Horticulturalists.